I'm Christian Lamichka for Country Music News International and today on the show we have Morgan Frazier. Morgan, welcome. Hi, how are you? Doing fine, how are you? I'm wonderful. Morgan, you have a new project running at the moment. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Um, well, uh, I signed with Curb Records when I was 16. Um, I'm on Sidewalk Records now, which is a sister label to Curb. Um, I am working on a single, uh, coming out to country radio in April. Um, I was just in the studio with Buddy Cannon, which he produced all the Kenny Chesney records and, and uh, Jamie Johnson records. and So I'm really, really excited about that. And, uh, uh, we're going back in April to cut the full album. We cut four sides, so. Can you tell us a little bit more about the work to be in the studio, picking up songs or might be writing songs by yourself? Um, I've been writing songs since I was real little. Um, I think I wrote my first song when I was seven years old. Um, so oh, with I, seven you wrote your first song? Yes. It goes about mommy and daddy? No, it, it, was, um, it was called Gates of Heaven. So I grew up in uh, you know Church of Christ and it was just a cappella music. There was no music instruments. So um, yeah, I've, I've I've always in, enjoyed uh, Christian music, so um, I wrote my first song there. Um, but I also, doing this album, I wanted to, um, if there was an outside song that I did not write, I wanted to go look for it, and you know, so I'm um, really excited. I, I think I've written eight of the ten songs that we're going to put on the album. So Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, did you have some co-writers, or just did you sit at, lo uh, at home alone? In a closed room with no windows <laughs> oh, it sounds and a so candle dark. just only. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I when I first started writing songs, I was just writing them by myself because I no one from my hometown wrote songs. So um, I would sit in my room and just write songs. Uh, I moved to Nashville when I was 16, and it was uh, then I started getting into the co-writing process, and that was very different. Like you have to get used to it because if you're used to writing by yourself, you just write what you feel, but then you have to consider someone else's feelings and what they feel so you have to really kind of mesh with that person to write a, a great song with them um, so I'm doing a lot of co-writing too so how much did your life change since you're in the spotlight um, I, I don't know my life has always kind of been the same uh, you know nothing's really changed a lot for me I'm still you know Morgan Fraser from a little small town so I try to keep that in my brain too if it ever blows up or anything like that I always want to be remember where I came from kind of thing so sounds like a song from Gretchen Wilson I know yeah <laughs> <laughs> so Morgan um, from better understanding um, you're singing since you were seven mm -hmm. um, mommy and daddy was proud of you yes they supported you totally um, in this whole long time, didn't you have the one time where you said, is that correct or right what I'm doing? Um, By the fact, might be something can stalk and doesn't work like you wanted. Right. Um, well, you know, it seems like everything. I've been very blessed to be able to do what I've what I've done so far. Um, and I always tell my mom and dad, I'm like, if I don't make it any farther um, in this music business, uh, you know, I'm playing the Grand Ole Opry on uh, Saturday. So I'm really freaking out about that. And I'm like, nothing ever happens for me other than this. I will be completely content because this is what uh, you know you strive to do. So. So, if you go shopping okay. and girls go shopping, right? Um, is it so that when fans see you coming to you, say, "Okay, we like an autograph," or do they say, mm -hmm. "Okay, she's private here and we give her her time to go shopping"? Um, you know what? Uh, I've not experienced that a lot, but um, you know, if if anyone wants to talk to me, I am more than happy because I mean, I feel like this is what you sign up for. If you want to be a country singer, it comes with the territory. So, um, and and your fans, if they want to take a picture or talk to you, I feel like that's very important to um, you know do that because I mean, if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be who you are. So, so by the way. What is the latest book you read? Uh, read? I, I like um, all the like series of books. So, of course, Twilight and Harry Potter and all that fun oh, stuff. Harry so, Potter. I love Harry Potter <laughs> books. I've read them all. 
<laughs> Are you un really unhappy that she finished the Harry Potter series? Um, I'm, you know, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Um, I feel like it was a good ending. I really do because it, it, it went on for, you know, a, quite a while and I feel like she ended it really well, so. Okay, we can open now. Of course, I'd love more. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> but you are on this uh, fan level then too, standing in front of uh, the, the book gallery when they're starting selling the book? Mm -hmm. Or did you have some privilege to get it before that? Um, no, I, I was definitely one of those standing in line for it. So, Goodness. I know, I know. <laughs> so, folks, don't know if you saw her, but... <laughs> I, it's unbelievable she had to stay in the same line like other people too. <laughs> Whoa! Um, what's the good things to be a country star or what do you think, what is the thing which are running, could running just a little bit better? Now, um, I don't know. Um, does it open a couple of doors sometimes? Um, yeah, you know, there's perks to it, I guess. <coughs> yeah, there's definitely perks. Um, you know, uh, you know, getting like the different makeup lines that want to give you makeup to put their logo up on your website, or you know, that kind of thing. It's you know, there's there's perks to it a lot. So it's it's a lot of fun. So I understand that correct. You don't have to pay any more for your makeup. Um, well, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you do get some free stuff, which is really cool. I know. <laughs> I know. Well, let's talk again about your music. Okay. Um, you said you were signed with Curb. Now you're on um, a corporation label of yes. them. Yes. Um, why that? Why you, did you move from Curb to a corporation label? Um, well, I think that there was um, some people over at there was a lot of artists over at Curb, so they opened this label to kind of give um, you know some of the artists a chance to not wait in line, kind of thing, because you were really waiting in line for your turn. Um, so they had this label to break off to so they could um, you know give more people more chances. Okay. So, well, so if the German fans like to have more information about you, what they have to do? Um, you can check out my website, uh, morganfrasermusic.com, uh, and it has links to my Twitter, my Facebook, and uh, my YouTube. So, folks, you know what you have to do, or you stay here on Country Music News International.blogspot.com to get the latest news about her, and we keep you up to date what's going on in her career. Have a good one. Talk to you.